Hi everyone, this is Susie Turner, author of The Raven Saga. In the last video, I just wanted to introduce myself to let you know who I was. Um, I didn't really give away very much. <laughs> so this time I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about The Raven Saga. Um, the, book, the, the books are going to be um, a trilogy. At the moment there are two out, Raven and December Moon, uh, both of which are available on Amazon and Smashwords. Raven is currently available on Barnes & Noble, iBooks and all the other online retailers um, and December Moon will be joining it soon. A um, couple of weeks maybe it should be available on all the other sites. Um, Raven was actually inspired by a visit to Canada in 2009. Myself, my husband and two friends spent three weeks travelling from Alberta to British Columbia and we visited all over the place. It was absolutely spectacular. Probably the most beautiful place that I've ever been to. Um, although we visited lots of different places with mountains and um, forests and everything, it wasn't until we were in a small place called Powell River um, to the west, I guess, the west of British Columbia, um, that I started getting ideas for a book. We sat on this little bay, on the beach, um, having a picnic one day in Powell River and it was just moving, I guess is a good word, um, mysterious, eerie, um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful and it got my mind going, it made me start to think about made me start to think about how vampires and werewolves and changelings and everything paranormal could be set there, hiding in the trees behind us, or in the little islands that were off in the distance, or even swimming in the water with fish, because there were fish that kept jumping out of the water and back in again, making all these plopping sounds. We tried to get it on camera, but we failed miserably. But it was there that my mind started going and I, and, I, and I started thinking that it would be the perfect setting for a paranormal young adult fantasy. Um, it wasn't until a few months later that I actually started making notes, writing stuff down. And then it was, I think, even a few months after that that I was um, working at the time. I was the editor of a, of a local magazine. And suddenly I had like a... Um, not, not a vision, um, just suddenly this idea popped into my mind and I could see ravens sitting on a, um, on a windowsill, tapping at the window. And the idea that was just there so vividly, I started scribbling down and I sort of sneakily passed my notebook to one of my colleagues at the time and she, she read what I wrote and she was like, oh, you've got to make it into a book, it's fantastic. So I did, I did exactly that. And Unfortunately, um, a few months later, I was made redundant from my job um, as an editor. Um, but it actually turned out to be for the best because it was like a sign, you know, for me to, to write the book. So I'm very fortunate that I have a very supportive husband who said, no, you should, you should do it, you should write. So he, we, we decided that I wouldn't look for another job, I would write full time from home. So. Raven was born and was launched in May of 2011 um, and then December Moon, the sequel, was launched um, last week, September 2011 and the third book, The Lost Soul, that will be released in March 2012 so keep an eye out for that one. So the books are about Lily, um, a girl who in the beginning is um, a 13 year old girl living in England with her parents who are really not very nice, although I say that her father she doesn't ever see, um, but her mother is really quite, she's just nasty, she's horrible. Um, but then her parents suddenly disappear and um, she has no choice but to move to Canada um, to a place called Powell River that I mentioned already. Um, to live with a family that she never even knew existed and it's only when she's there that she starts to realise that her life in England was really completely out of the ordinary, not the kind of life that every teenager lives but she didn't really know this, she, she didn't understand because 
she she's never known any different. So it's while she's in Canada and um, she um, starts to learn more about her family, her real family, and she learns that they have some rather unique abilities. Um, this is where all the supernatural paranormal stuff starts coming into, into the book, but I'm not going to tell you about it because that gives it away. Um, Lily has um, one friend in England called December Moon, and she is one of the main characters in the second book, which is called December Moon. Um, and December actually discovers something rather unique about herself, and she moves to America, to Seattle, which is actually only a few hours, I hope, away from Powell River. And the story in December Moon is December and Lily um, coming together and fighting um, rather a nasty vampire called Olivia Duran. And it's their story of their struggles and their, the two of them coming to terms with the strange things that are happening to them. Um, but it's more action, um, more fun, a bit more quirkiness, um, whereas Raven was more sombre because it was Lily coming to terms with her parents disappearing and stuff. They were both enjoyable to write. Um, if I had to say, if I had to choose one, I would say December Moon was more fun to write purely because there was more action and, you know, there was more friendship and stuff like that in, in the second one. Um, but I'd love it if you would um, if you would check them out um, and have a look, have a read. Maybe they're 99 cents each. I mean, it's cheaper than buying a cup of coffee. Um, you can visit um, susieturner.com to find out a little bit more, or check out my blog susieturner.blogspot.com, or you can find all the books on Amazon, like I said before, or on Smashwords. Um, Facebook, you'll find me on Susie Turner Books. And Twitter, um, Susie underscore Turner. I'd love to see you on any of those places, so feel free to um, follow me, like me, whatever it is you want to do, and leave a comment. I, I love hearing from people. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it anyway for now. But I'll be back again soon. So take care, um, and I'll speak soon. Bye.